Hello and welcome to my studio. It's Finn Jelly here and uh, continuing my dog theme I'm going to be painting Flora the Cocker Spaniel today. Uh, after painting the other two dog paintings and posting the images uh, quite a few friends sent me images of their dogs uh, which was quite amusing and some of the photos were hilarious. I couldn't help laughing at them. Uh, they didn't make great paintings though but this is one uh, which I thought might make a good painting. Uh, quite a lovely cocker spaniel in repose, having a, a good old snooze on a, um, a nice blue blanket towel. And um, there's a lot of fur and hair to paint in this piece. It's, it's not so much a portrait as a, um, a painting of a dog lying down. And I quite liked that. I quite liked the way that the hair created a lot of textures even though I thought it might be a, a bit awkward to paint, and indeed it was, because um, the scale's not that big. So the whole page in the block I'm working on, the animal block, is about A3, well it is A3, and um, so the actual dog size is fairly small for what's going on in the image. Um, but that's okay, um, you adjust accordingly. And um, I drew it out fairly carefully, and then trace the drawing from my um, workout drawing so that there weren't too many lines on the page at the beginning because it's quite an involved drawing and I wanted it to be reasonably accurate with not much rubbings out uh, which would damage the paper surface so really I can transfer the, a nice linear drawing uh, keeping it quite clean and tidy. So to get some of the uh, finer details I've got a very sharp Caran d'Ache watercolour pencil which I can work on with a wet brush as well just to soften in places and I've got quite a few different colours there just to draw into the painting a little bit and um, they're very useful for doing this kind of uh, detail work at the end and then I'm adding some of the softer washes around the edge just to vignette it a little bit and uh, soften those edges away um, just to make a variety of texture and here towards the end I'm going to add a little bit of wet and wet on the back and bleed it out a little bit just to soften it and add some other areas of um, texture to the painting which gives it a variety all over and adds a bit of interest to the uh, and, and focal difference to the painting uh, which I believe um, helps you to focus on the more important areas. And here's the final result, I've softened the muzzle a little bit because I think the lines are a bit hard there so uh, that's it. Please like and subscribe and there'll be some more soon.